Well, hello there. I'm Dr. Todd Lasang back at Tulsa Botanic Garden. We thought uh, we'd share another little video for you today. Today, um, we're going to talk about plants that serve as the larval stage hosts for butterflies. And that's a subject that is near and dear to so many of us right now as we think about biodiversity and the roles that plants play not only just in being something of beauty for us to observe, but also their roles they play in the ecosystem. So here at my feet, we have some swamp milkweeds. So you can see these little clusters of leaves emerging right now. And swamp milkweed is a uh, species with either white or pink flowers. And um, it is one of the first to emerge. That's where we're going to use this one. The orange uh, milkweed, which is sometimes called butterfly milkweed, um, is just not up yet. It's, it's kind of notorious for emerging later in the season. And um, we all know what milkweeds are for, right? They're for monarch butterflies. So the monarchs, when they arrive, will lay their eggs onto the leaves of only this genus of plants, which is Asclepius. And the insects will, uh, excuse me, the eggs will hatch and the larvae or the caterpillars will feed on the foliage of this plant and it imparts to them a toxic principle that uh, does not kill them but that makes them toxic to birds uh, when the um, uh, birds try to eat either the butterflies or the caterpillars. So this is kind of a classic plant. It's, a, it's, a, it's actually a beautiful plant. This one will get about three feet tall and have white or pink flowers in the summer and it's just really gorgeous. But um, a great group of plants for our pollinators, the milkweeds, and this one again is swamp milkweed. Okay, we're here in the Children's Discovery Garden, and we are in the Molly Williford butterfly stroll and we have a beautiful plant in front of me of bronze fennel. So bronze fennel of course it's an herb so some people like to cook with fennel. Bronze, for, bronze fennel is just the kind of darkish leaved version and uh, this and many other members of the carrot family are hosts for the swallowtail butterflies. So their uh, caterpillars will feed on the foliage of this. Now one of the interesting things is um, the caterpillars of some of the swallowtail species um, will mimic the caterpillar of a monarch butterfly. And you may say, well, why would it do that? Well, earlier we said how the monarch butterflies, since uh, their larvae, their caterpillars, since they feed on milkweeds, they're poisonous. Well, the swallowtail butterfly caterpillars are not poisonous, but what they've done is they've evolved to look very similar to the caterpillars of the monarchs and that is because they're trying to trick the birds and the other animals that eat them into thinking that they're poisonous. So it's kind of clever. So if you ever come into the garden, whether your garden, our garden, and you see caterpillars eating on your parsley or your fennel or other more carrots for that matter, anything in the carrot family, uh, don't squish them. Leave them alone. They are swallowtail butterflies and they're gorgeous. Okay, we're standing here next to one of my favorite plants, which is a native tree called sassafras. And it is in the laurel family. So um, it is a really cool member of that family. It is super cold hardy, grows all the way up into New York and Southern Canada. And a lot of times you'll see the leaves will have three lobes. Now this one only has two lobes, and sometimes you'll have no lobes. You'll just have a, a regular looking leaf. So um, my, I always remember this because my horticulture professor in Georgia told me, he goes, why do sassafras sometimes have lobes only on the left side of the leaf and sometimes only at the right? 
And his answer was, that's so that the squirrels can sew mittens for themselves. So I always thought that was kind of funny. You get a little, little laugh out of it. But no, it's, it is a wonderful plant. It has a spicy aroma. If you've ever had filet for a filet gumbo, filet comes from the ground up leaves of the sassafras tree. Now, another reason we're showing it here, besides the fact that it's a cool tree, is this tree is another host for swallowtail caterpillars. So the swallowtails will lay their eggs and then they will feed on the leaves of this plant. And it is a wonderful native tree. Okay, so the final plant we're gonna do today uh, for a plant that serves as a larval host plant is this beautiful pawpaw. So a lot of people have heard about pawpaws. It is um, a member of the custard apple family, which is mostly in the Southern hemisphere. And there's all kinds of fruits you haven't heard of that come from that family. But this one is a deciduous tree. It produces these interesting purplish brown flowers that hang below the branches at this time of year. And then those give way to fruits that kind of look like an elongated cucumber, but but only a few inches long. Sometimes they're in sets of three or two or five. And they have a flavor that is akin to tropical fruit flavors like bananas and pineapples and others, but a texture of custard. It's a really amazing plant just from its own standpoint. Another cool story though about it is that the pawpaw tree is the only host for the zebra swallowtail butterfly. So when we were designing the Children's Discovery Garden, we wanted to use pawpaws, but uh, we had no records of zebra swallowtails coming here. And we figured, well, we'll plant one and maybe they'll find it. And um, three years after we opened the Children's Discovery Garden, which was last year, sure enough, we had our, verse, our first zebra swallowtail butterfly show up and it was a really celebratory moment to the point that I'm, I was just wondering like, well, how did it find us? You know, we, were, we may be a mile away from the next pawpaw uh, naturally occurring for all we know. So anyway, the pawpaw tree hosts to the zebra swallowtail. If you've never seen that one, look it up. It's black and white. Uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful butterfly. So thank you for your interest in larval, pl larval plants or plants that feed the larval stage of butterfly insects. It's a very important topic. Sorry, I'm getting tongue-tied.